what's good y'all it's gas and icy twat just dropped trunk music ep i'm gonna teach y'all how to make some beats for icy twat man let's go Alright, so first sound, I just grabbed this NL Coral preset from the Keys and Classics section of Hive. Hive is going to be a great plugin for making beats like this. I, I love using their little like keys section. I feel like there's a, a ton of great sounds for like ambient shit, but I'm about to lay out a little pattern. So I just laid out this little pattern. It's really nothing special. I'm gonna break it down real quick. So I got this repeating bass note just to give it like a little more depth. And then I got this little like sort of arpeggiating melody. It's just like the same like note, uh, like a really basic pattern, uh, nothing too special going on. And then I had this little top line that I thought gave it a little more bounce and everything together sounds like this. I thought that sounded a little dry so I put a little EQ on it and then I put some reverb too, a little bit of crystallizer and now it sounds like this. And now I want to layer this with another sound. So I just layered the first sound with this Baby Cries polysynth out of x band and it sounds like this. So both of them together now sound like this. So I just added like three new sounds. I'm gonna give you a real quick breakdown. So first sound, this soft lead, it's called Scream in X-Band. And I had a pretty simple pattern, just repeating every four bars. Sounds like this. Then I went back into X-Band, grabbed this hybrid pad sound in the string section and laid out this pretty simple pattern and then just put it an octave up. I'll let it play out. And then last sound, I had this JP80 bell out of Xenology, and I just laid out this little descending pattern, let it play out. And everything together sounds like this. So I just pitched the melody up to by going here, highlighting all these just by clicking and dragging and then going here, going to transpose selected. And then I just put two in here and that put it up two semitones, but I already did that. And I think this is the final pitch that I'm gonna go with. So now I'm gonna lay out some drums. Now Icy usually goes pretty crazy uh, with the snares on his beats, like there's usually like a whole bunch of like filler and accent notes in between, so I'm gonna be trying to go off that. <laughs> time 
So I just finished up the drums. I'm gonna give you all a real quick breakdown. First things first, I got the snare. Like I said, Icy always goes crazy with the snare patterns. They're always like super all over the place with all these accent and filler notes. So I just sort of replicated that here, play with the velocities and the notes a little bit, just where I saw fit. I didn't try to flood it as per usual. I just put it where I saw fit, didn't try to force nothing. And then I had that interchanging with this little clap. Then for the hi-hats, literally the most basic pattern ever, just a two-step with a note cut out here and there. So I got this crash hitting on a one, uh, and then I had this open hat to give it a little more bounce. And on top of that, I had this champ perk going a little bit crazy. Uh, really, again, just where I saw fit. Don't try to force nothing that's super important to remember when you're making these type of beats. And really any beats, just try not to force any sounds or like any, like, like just don't do too much. And then I had this little triangle perk, uh, repeating every four bars, and this wine perk, sounds like this. There we go. And I just had a little double hit at the beginning of every four bar to give it a little more bounce. And then I got this 808 pattern, really nothing too crazy. Uh, Twat does usually put like a lot of hits in his beats. Pretty standard 808 pattern. I had a few stutter notes here and there just to add a little more bounce to the beat as you could, could tell like i'm really trying to go for bounce in this type of beat because i've said that word like five times already but that's really what you want to be going for uh and also i did a little bit of panning on these notes at the end just to give it a cool little effect going back into the eight bar so it doesn't get like super repetitive and in Icy's beats, there's a whole lot of 808 hits, so I sort of try to replicate that. So everything together is gonna sound like this. Now let's arrange it. So I just finished up the arrangement and two things that you really want to keep in mind when doing the arrangement is to keep it short and simple. As you can see, this beats like a minute 30 long and you can see the arrangement super simple. Uh, for most of Icy's beats, well, the songs are like a minute to two minutes long at most. So really there's little to no variation. So as you can see, I could I just kept like the drums the same throughout and really only had variation with the melody. So I treated this like a little 16 bar hook and then I just isolated these two sounds for the 16 bar verse, then brought it back around for a 16 bar hook. And then I duplicated this little eight bar from the verse back over for like sort of an outro. Super simple arrangement, just keep it simple and you're good. And that's gonna be the beat, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed or learned something, make sure you hit that like button, man. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button. We're so close to 1K, and once I hit 1K, I promise I'm gonna start going crazy. Let's get this channel monetized, y'all, so I can really get on that grind. And also, make sure y'all leave a comment. Let me know how I did, if this beats dog shit, or if it sounds like something that Icy would use. And also, let me know in the comments what was your favorite song off the EP. Mine, personally, is probably, what's it called? Uh, let me pull it up. It's uh, Leader Mantra. Absolutely Leader Mantra. That song's crazy. But let me know in the comments, man. As always, this has been Gas, and I'm out. Peace.